All right, guys, trying to one hand this to you. I don't know if you remember this, but I was going through this, the channel and I saw a really old video on Dodge Magnum heads. Now, these were donated to the cause because they were cracked. And then I did a set of uh, EQ New Zealand heads for the guy. And what I did is I took this uh, mundane heads and I got a lot out of them. Uh, I, have, I only found the flow sheet from the stocker and then I had to go to the video and dig up what it peaked out at after seven cuts. Let's take a look at that. Okay, March 23, Dodge Magnum, stock. Not bad stock, 208, 210. That's right on what about a fuel he would make with a 202. Okay, this is uh, 1.92. Now, after seven cuts, I cut it up to a 2.02, and I got 289.5 CFM out of that, which is pretty damn good. You can make a good amount of power with that. Now, I personally wouldn't do that on a set of heads that uh, tend to crack. Now, lots of guys are like, it doesn't matter if it cracks, if they still run. Yeah, not my style, sorry. So, when I did that, uh, that series of cuts on these, I said I would do a cutaway, and I never did. So, I got to start cleaning some junk out of the garage, and I'm like, these heads I'm not going to use for anything but a cutaway. So, they got cut up today. Okay, we'll take a look at the exhaust first. Now, this is, of course, has been ported, but it's got a pretty nice shape, okay? I don't remember what the exhausts were flowing, but they were pretty darn good. Now, you can see the way the cutaway broke. Not my best work. This is more of the port, but you can't see the bowl as well. Okay? You can see the bowl better on this one, but you can see the rest of the port better on this one. And as a matter of fact, we have, I think they're 620s cutaway still. Let's take a look at them. Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. So this is uh, a 620, which is a 1967 318 head with a closed chamber. Uh, take a look at the shape and the size of that exhaust port versus the Magnum. Yeah, the Magnum's been opened up to a bigger size valve. I think I went up to a 1.6 on that. But it is much better design. Okay? Pretty cool. And we can get a good combination here. Let me fix that. Okay, the roof of the 318 port, not really great. And... The Magnum that opens up at the very end, I probably wouldn't have done it that way. But you can see the short side is night and day of the two designs, okay? Okay, you can see the Magnum opening is relatively small. Let's see that we can do the same thing with the dart. Okay, the dart is actually a little bit smaller opening than the Magnum, but not much difference. Okay, even though it's broken in two, you can see I had my uh, my act together with this exhaust, and it worked quite well. Okay, not exactly an apples to apples comparison. You can see we broke, there's a big part of the, the bowl that's missing. Okay, it was a difficult head to cut up. This one was actually cut up a lot nicer, but from this angle, now, how can I explain this? This bowl would come out a lot more this way. But you can see from the short side, it's got a nice design, nice and high, got a good shape to it. In reality, it's a little too big here, but that's okay. And you can see this, this change in area, very narrow on the roof, a lot of area on the short side because it's a truck head, okay? They're looking for mid-range. 
Okay, this is the dart. Notice how much smaller the bowl is, right? Now, this fin goes this way, so the port comes like so. Looks a lot better if you ground that whole thing out. But the short side, not great, right? This is this has got a much better design, much higher. Okay, this is quite low. Okay, I actually broke it at the pinch trying to get it out. But you can tell there's not uh, not a huge amount of metal there by the time I I was done with it either because we were trying to get some decent gains out of this. Okay, a little hard to see, but this is actually the water jacket between the intake and exhaust port. That's why it cracks. That that water port goes all the way up to the seat. They should have put more more iron right there. Okay, guys, I don't know if I can get that in focus or not, but you can see this this head is cracked. It's a tiny crack. I don't know if it would leak water or not. Okay, I'm gonna to try to one hand this because I gotta hold the pieces together. You can see that uh, that port looks pretty good except for the you know big crack through it. And we had it doing a pretty good job on that liquid as well. So this would definitely have made some decent power. Now let's compare these two pieces. Okay, this cutaway is a much better cutaway because it's got the whole guide and everything in it. You can actually see the bowl shape much better the way it is, the way I shaped it. Okay, let's flip this over. Okay, as far as casting thickness, it's got a lot of a lot of metal around the bowl. You could uh, you could cut these pretty big and get some good power out of them, I'm sure. All right, guys, I don't know what else I can say about these, except for the cracking issue. Really a nice design. I like it a lot. Uh, like I said, I think in a previous video, I think they were looking at the Chevy Vortex or the Chevy Vortex was looking at these and uh, they definitely took a little bit, uh, some ideas from each other. But it's a pretty good design. I would have worked on the chamber a little different, as you can tell. Uh, from when I first posted, I took a nice notch out of the chamber, kind of similar to the GT40Xs we just finished working on. Okay, standard Magnum chamber, and what I did is I took a piece out of that chamber. And you can see right where the, the blue hits, it worked pretty well. Now, would it make more horsepower than, than this chamber? Only way to know would be to you know, do a dyno like this and then change it and do a dyno like that. This is what I should have done to it. I should have stacked it so the weight holds it all together instead of trying to hold it. All right, guys, we're going to finish this up. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.